And a massive blaze has engulfed a seven-storey building near Central Station in Sydney CBD this afternoon. The roof and a large section of wall collapsed, crashing down close to firefighters. Authorities say the blaze spread to a neighbouring building. Residential apartments were also threatened. Nearby buildings have been evacuated. I did see the flat side of the building fall in on itself, which caused quite a big, um, yeah, big fireball. Some of our staff who said they saw kids doing something with a mattress there. Um, lighting setting it, it on fire. setting it on fire. We're now joined live by 10 News first reporter Hugh Rimmington. Hugh, what's the latest on the ground there? Well, Waleed, uh, the fire is now contained. There are still firefighters up in the sky crane behind me uh, just gouting water back into this utterly gutted building. It's about six storeys high. It's a heritage-listed building, but it had been abandoned uh, when it caught fire this afternoon. And so very quickly, literally within half an hour of the first reports of flames, uh, the walls were starting to collapse, uh, cannoning down onto the street below, uh, onto vehicles below, forcing the evacuation of people in neighbouring buildings. One of those people who was evacuated evacuator said it was so intense the embers were flying down and were singeing his hair as he was making his getaway. Uh, quite extraordinary scenes in the middle of the city. You've got to realise this is within uh, 100 metres, perhaps less, of central train station. It's in a busy part of town. Uh, other buildings there were occupied. Many of those have now been damaged. All those assessments have to be made uh, tomorrow. But then we also, as you've just heard, uh, have those reports from eyewitnesses of youths perhaps being involved in either setting or accelerating this fire once it got, it got underway. So a lot for police to do. Another thing they'll have to do is to check whether there were any homeless people in the abandoned building. It is not impossible, particularly in this part of the city, but there are no reports at this stage of anyone losing their lives or being unaccounted for. It's still peak hour in Sydney. What impact is this blaze having? Is it just chaos there? Well, it has been chaotic. The trains looked as if they were going to be disrupted for some time, but in fact, we're told that wasn't the case. There was a little bit of delay and disruption to the train services, which of course have such a huge impact on getting commuters home. But light rail runs through here. The light rail services have been curtailed and changed. Buses and bus routes have been disrupted and lots of streets have been closed off. So it was pretty gnarly for commuters trying to get home uh, tonight. That should start to ease from here on, although these streets around me will be blocked off for some time to come. Thanks, Hugh. Let's hope there's no more bad news out of this. Appreciate your time.